We're at Citizen Machine right now. They've got a great range of sliding head and fixed head machines. Today, we're going to look at their flagship sliding head machine. Yep, the M32. Now, first of all, I'm getting M32 bar diameter 32 mil. Um, it can actually take up the capacity of 35 millimetres with an expansion kit. Okay, and then the standard in terms of your, your bar feed, one metre, one and a half, three metre? Generally, three metre bar feed will fit on this, but depending on the customers, they, they, they can have whatever they want on there. Okay, now it's a big call to call one of your machines. I mean, your machines are known as premium machines anyway, but this yeah. is a flagship. Why do you say that? Yeah, well, you have the extra capacity on here with your added turret as well, different from the other machines that we offer. Um, the same as your other machines, we have the gang on there. On the now, front you say gang, I'll call that a platen, same thing? Yeah, exactly the same. You've got your driven tooling and also the B-axis, and that's four plus one simultaneous. Oh, so simultaneous machining on a B-axis then? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Now, you've got two spindles, you've got the turret in the middle, so I'm working out you can cut three faces essentially at one, one yeah, time? Yeah, of course, yeah. Yep. And they're all driven. Each um, station on the 10 station turret is all driven. Okay, so impressive stuff. You can do some really intricate parts. We'll come to that in a minute. Now, next question then. I don't want to go through a whole list, but in terms of materials, any material? Literally any material we use, from brass to ink and oil, whatever. Right, yeah. well, I'm going to throw one at you because a bit of engineering kryptonite. <laughs> I can't show the component because of NDAs, but this material here? Yeah, pneumonic 90. Pneumonic 90. So kryptonite to engineers, real tough stuff. Absolute kryptonite, yeah, you're correct, yeah. Okay. Now, moving on quickly, next thing, controls. Engineers, they like to keep the same suite of controls and you use Fanuc or Mitsubishi. Yeah. Um, they might be concerned about using Mitsubishi. How easy is it to switch over? Yeah, so this control here, we use Mitsubishi. Yeah. Um, a lot of customers are skeptical because they've only used Fanuc before and they want to stick to Fanuc. The Mitsubishi is exactly the same, essentially. It's more user friendly. And if you can program Fanuc and you know G-coding, you can program this machine, it's the exact same. Okay, and another benefit is really, really fast, is that correct? Super fast and super user friendly. Okay. Now, what I want to see then is, you said what a great machine it is, but we want to see some parts. Now, I'm thinking, I've dug this out, I'm thinking that's a standard sort of sliding head part there, but what else can you do? Oh, we can also take up to something as complex as this in length and bigger. Yeah, so we can, we can cut something as complex as this, um, gear hobbing and this length and longer, um, using the long parts, long parts adapter that we fit to the machine. I can say, because I'm thinking sliding head, you know, 150, 200 mil, but that, oh, well, I dread to think, it's a, a long, long part. Yeah, yeah, it certainly is. And as I say, you can use something as long as this, and if not, longer. Okay, now, looking at some other component, components we've got there, so yeah. very, very intricate. What have you done with these parts here? So this is milled fully complete on our M32 as well. So again, you might be thinking just long, long components, shafts, etc. But we do use parts like this on the machine as well. And again, this other component I'm going to show you. Was done fully complete on the, the M32 as well, fully milled on there. So it's not just long parts, small intricate parts as well. So intricate. And it, with this type of machine, you're taking away the requirement for that milling operation. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Ronnie, M32, you call it the flagship. Big statement to make. Quick summary, please, of why it gets that name. Yeah, it's really high accuracy on the machine, really quick, extra capacity with the turret. Really user friendly control um, and anything you can fit into a 32 mil bar capacity on here, this machine will do it. Big statement, so set the challenge to you guys, get in contact if you want to do that. Yeah, of course, yeah. Don't hesitate, get in touch um, on the phone or on online. You'll find, find everything available you need. Ronnie, thank you very much.